Fail big. That's right. Fail big. Today's the beginning of the rest of your life, and it can be, it can be very frightening. It's a new world out there. It's a mean world out there, and you only live once. So do what you feel passionate about. Take chances. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. The first rule of success is to have a vision. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go, and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. I mean, as you know, I was born in 1947 in Austria after the Second World War. So I was very fortunate that I stumbled onto my vision. And I didn't really like Austria when I grew up. I couldn't wait to get out of there. I couldn't see myself becoming a farmer or a worker in a factory or anything like that. Even though my parents wanted me to stay there and have a normal life. But that was their vision, not mine. My vision was totally different. I felt that I was born for something special, for something unique, for something big. Then one day I went to school. I remember I was 11 years old. And they showed a documentary about America. There they showed in this documentary the huge skyscrapers, the high rises, the huge bridges, the six lane freeways, and all of this stuff. And I said to myself, that's where I want to be. I don't want to be around here with little farmhouses, these little buildings. I want to be in America. You guys will find that you have passions. And having a passion is a gift. I think we all have passions. And you don't get to uh, choose them. They pick you. But you have to be alert to them. You have to be looking for them. And when you find your passion, it's a fantastic gift for you because it gives you direction. It gives you purpose. Uh, you can have a job, or you can have a career, or you can have a calling. And the best thing is to have a calling. And if you find your passion, you'll have that. And all your work won't feel like work to you. What's your dream life? And so many people have a general idea of that. They'll see the success of somebody else and feel like, well, that looks like a dream. That must be for me. But they've never put the time in to actually figure out what is the specific life that I'm looking for? What's the specific mix of life and work that I'm looking for? So for me, I'm seeking extreme flexibility through my work, extreme flexibility, so I can go and do the things that I want to do and still work as I'm doing it. So I'm not running away from my work when I go away to different countries. I'm actually embedding that in my life's work. And so as a result, I needed to get really good at something unique, something so unique that others had value in. And when I did that, it allowed me to be in control. One of the challenges we have with jobs nowadays is that we allow somebody else to own our control of work. We allow somebody else to write down our job description, to define the boundaries of our work. And so as, as a result, we never declare it for ourselves, and it's totally a mistake that people make. You need to be in control of your life's work. You need to be in control of what you do with your productive time. And once you start to own that, once you start to own the path, get good at something very unique that others have value in, you can start to shape the career and life that you want. Don't just follow the trend. You may have heard me say it to, to, that it's good to think in terms of the, the physics approach or first principles. Uh, which is, rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. And it, it's, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things like quantum mechanics. So it's really a powerful, powerful method.